Hey guys, story time. Wanted to start off with a story here that might inspire some of you guys. Maybe some of you guys can relate. And I'll probably make a video on this whole story um, when I get a chance because it's pretty interesting. I think I might have told some of you guys this if I've talked to you in person or at an expo or something, or if you're just closer to me, you probably know this. But uh, basically, it, it's, it's about the beginning of my journey, you know, with lifting weights and things like that. There's always a reason why uh, we all start, you know, we want to get girls when we're young or guys if you're a girl whatever We want to be stronger be faster be better for a certain sport um, just feel better for ourselves or um, not be bullied whatever um, My personal reason I, I actually tried out for football in high school I was playing soccer my whole life, you know, I could run around I could play, so play soccer um, pretty good. I wasn't like, you know top top-notch soccer player, but um, I, I definitely, that was my sport. Um, so I tried out for football because my buddy in high school uh, kind of peer pressured me into it in a good way. And uh, it, was, it was just eye-opening to see how embarrassingly weak I was. Like I couldn't, everybody was warming up for like a max, max bench press day and I got crushed by their warm up. It was like a 90 pound bench press and I just, it literally crushed me. It like almost took my air out. I couldn't breathe. Um, I couldn't do one body weight bar dip uh, literally went down and I almost dislocated my shoulders. Um, I couldn't figure out how to squat, even like half squat. I put the bar on my neck, I started bleeding. Horrible. Uh, but that's, that's kind of what lit the fire. So that summer, I got my first gym membership. I knew nutrition and exercise was important to your overall results. Um, you know, combining those things together. Uh, but I didn't really know much of either. So for nutrition, I actually ate peanut butter sandwiches and oranges every day. That literally was my diet, just peanut butter and oranges every day. And uh, I, I ran on the treadmill every day. So one mile one day, three miles the next day. One mile one day, three miles the next day. And then after the run, I did an hour of abs and then like 30 minutes on the preacher curl machine for biceps. That's literally all I did every day, seven days, six to seven days a week uh, for an entire summer, uh, which was the summer after I tried out for football. So I wanted to get stronger, I wanted to just get in better shape. Um, Obviously, nowadays, we all know that's kind of crazy. Both of those are drastic measures and not really productive or efficient ways of going about it. But, um, you know, it goes to show we all start somewhere. Through those first stages, I also thought that I had to get my, you know, my protein shaken after my workout. And that still might be the misconception that you need to get your protein after your workout or whatever, right? We know now that that's not necessary. We know there's not a post-workout window that you need to hit your protein in or whatever. Or if you didn't know that, newsflash. Um, we know that 95% of your results come from your nutrition and your exercise. That's going to get you to 95% of your overall results. And if anybody else says otherwise, they're just airheaded at this point, right? Um, however, over the years, I kind of started seeing a certain supplement um, as something different because it is, and wisdom showed me that. Um, protein powder or variations of it, like weight gain or things like that, those stood out to me. It was a reality check to see oh, these have calories, these have high amounts of protein, um, or in weight gainers cases, high amounts of fat and carbs as well. You know, So I actually, over the years, started seeing it as a source of food because essentially that's what it is. You're just drinking a source of food. So now you look at it as a comparison between eating your chicken breast or eating your steak or whatever, right? Obviously it might not have the same exact nutrients in them, however, macronutrient wise, similar right or comparable so it's actually seen as a convenience if you are short on time or you need to get to class or you just don't have an appetite and you want to be able to drink your protein it's a super convenient thing also 90% of the time pound for pound or weight for weight however you want to see it kilo for kilo um, protein powder is going to be the most cost effective way of hitting your protein so if you're on a budget you're a younger guy whatever which I know most of you guys are um, it actually makes more sense to do that if you have a protein count you're going for each day. Uh, believe it or not, I know it's kind of, that might be news to some of you guys still. That's why over the years I've, I've stood by protein. The only other supplement that I've, that I've stood by is uh, creatine because it plays an effective role in muscle gain and it's very cheap. So I see that as something as well to add to the arsenal. But protein is what I stand by most. 
um, and that's the essential supplement that I do use and I have used over the years. I experimented with everything, you know, my first protein tub was Optum Nutrition Vanilla, and then I did Myofusion, then I did Extreme Formulations, you know, Synthesis 6, Extreme Formulations 2.0, Ultra Peptide, Ultra Peptide Whey, all this other stuff. Um, everything, you name it, you know, I've tried it. But, you know, over time, I never really stood by a certain brand. They all kind of had their little weird tastes going on and kind of higher prices than, than what I was expecting for some of them. Um, and so, long story short, it was nine years ago that I started lifting. Uh, I haven't affiliated myself with any supplement company since then. And I'm actually super proud to do it for the first time uh, and do it with the right company. Enter My Protein. For those of you who haven't heard, My Protein is a company from the UK. It started a few years back, it's not very old. Um, however, I love the view, the vision that they had in creating this supplement line. It's very extensive, they have a lot of, a lot of things. However, it's the protein and the main supplements that I was talking to you guys about that intrigued me. So, you know, I started talking to a few of the guys at My Protein, and I decided to actually really give it a go. Um, give the products a go. I would never even make a video or consider getting affiliated with the company if I didn't really support them. Um, probably why I'm only affiliated with Gymshark and I really have been for forever, since they started at least. Uh, because I don't, I don't stand by many companies. I, don't, I have to really completely agree with their vision, their mission, their people, the family behind it, um, what they stand for, their morals, their products, everything. So with my protein, it's been a couple months now that I've been trying their products. There's a few I like so far, there's a few I don't like, but the products that are very important to me, which is protein, creatine, things like that, have really blown me away. Um, not in the sense that, oh, it tastes like a milkshake from my favorite fast food place. No, it's not that delicious, obviously, no protein ever is. However, uh, compared to the rest of the proteins, I'm very pleased with it, and that's why I'm happy to support it here. Uh, I'm going to show you guys some of the products that I've gotten. Um, and some of the products that I've tried. Like I said, it's been a couple months of me trying a few of these products, uh, testing them out to make sure that I like them, that I can stand behind them. Not only did I have the products sent to me and tried them, I actually looked at it from the point of view of, okay, if I supported this company, there's gonna be some other people that want to support this company as well, or try it out, you know, try their products. In this case, you guys, right? Uh, so I looked at it from the point of view of the outside perspective. So somebody who's going to their website, somebody who wants to buy their protein, not necessarily just get some of their protein, right? Um, to see if it's actually worth what you pay and all that. So it's cleared and passed all these tests with flying colors so far. It goes to show why they've partnered with bodybuilding.com, um, why they already have a warehouse in Chicago now for easier distribution in the United States. So Europe and US is gonna have very good distribution in this next year. They've proven themselves among the industry. They've grown at a pace that no other company that I know of has, especially not in the supplement industry, and for all the right reasons. So that being said, I'm gonna show you guys a couple products that I've tried, and I'm gonna show you guys a couple products that I like and don't like, and I'm gonna to continue to do that uh, you know, for the next few months. And uh, as I go, I'm gonna learn what I like most, what I like least, and I'll be able to share that with you guys. If you guys try something that I haven't tried, let me know if you like it or you don't like it, so you know I, I can get the message as well, we can help each other out. One thing I like to point out about my protein is that they really stood by making a solid product uh, with the consumer in mind as far as not paying overboard, not paying excessive amounts of money for supplements. Putting something out there that is very much worth what you pay, if not more. So the, the prices are very, very good, very cheap compared to other supplements. It's because they do things like this, for example. They have their protein in bags. You know, they don't, they don't, and it's not like ultra fancy or anything like that. They don't focus on giving you a fancy label or making the packaging very visually appealing because the product speaks for itself. And by saving money on the packaging and things like that and keeping it simplistic, then they save money on their end, but guess what? So does the consumer. The consumer saves some of that money as well when it comes time to purchase it. So it all makes sense, right guys? Uh, it's something that we can really stand by. It's a company that has shown me a lot of good support so far. It's a company that has badass products and cares for your gains just as much as you do, all right? I'm gonna have a link below if you guys wanna check out some of their products, so let's do it. Okay guys, so what I have here, some impact way. Um, I didn't really ask for the millions of products they had on their site. Um, I haven't tried any of those smaller gimmicky products um, because again, I don't really believe in that stuff. But I am curious in tasting a lot of their protein uh, 
flavors. So here's one of them. I'm very excited to open it. I'm actually gonna have a shake right after this. It is apple, crumble, and custard. So it goes to show the depth of the flavors they have. You know, it's not just like cookies and cream and chocolate and all that. They have exotic ones as well. Uh, this big one right here is cookies and cream. Um, very good. I can actually smell it right here. Um, what I really like about these proteins so far is that it's not overly sweet. So it doesn't give you that overpowering artificial sweetener taste. Um, it's just very smooth. It's not too thick either. It's just very easy to drink and it's also not too watery. So very, very good plus. I really rate these nine to 10 out of 10 so far. Uh, mixability is good. It's not chalky at all. Um, the flavor is true to what it says surprisingly and it actually smells pretty good. So can't really beat it. I'm actually very happy to try some more flavors there. Uh, this is my pre. Um, I've actually never used the pre-workout uh, regularly. Um, I had them send this just to see you know, if I could give it a go um, on my way back into the gym since I've been dealing with that injury. I'll let you know if I try that out. I'll let you know what I think about it. I might at least try it out just to let you guys know what I think. But then again, it'll be the perspective from somebody who isn't really used to these kind of stimulants. So I can't say much. I've heard good things, but I can't say much about the pre-workout right now. I was stoked to see these, okay? Protein cookies. Okay, check it out. Protein cookies. Each cookie, believe it or not, I'm gonna tell you the macros on these to give, give you an idea. Um, 10 fat, 20 carbs, 37.5 protein. That's crazy high. I didn't like these as much as the other product I'm about to show you, um, but the protein is super high. So maybe another flavor is good or better. This is double chocolate chip. Just a little bit protein-y, like chalky, you know? Unlike the protein powder, which is what I was just telling you about. This next one though, protein chalks. It's kind of like a protein bar. Well, essentially it is a protein bar. They have a bunch of different flavors of these two. This one is lemon cheesecake flavor, okay? Um, I barely have any left in here because I like them so much. Um, the macros on these are six fat, 24 carbs, 19 protein. So typical protein bar on the smaller side, um, but it tastes so good. It's, it's crazy how good this tastes. I would eat it even if I wasn't even concerned about getting protein. It's chewy, very lemony. You can taste the cheesecake. It has a frosting on the outside. Um, very, very good. So I'm, I'm excited to try some more of those. Other than that, I have the uh, My Protein Creatine, just basic creatine monohydrate. I can't really say uh, it tastes good or anything like that because it's unflavored, but it does the job. It's just creatine. You know, it's not sandy. It's not um, thick grains or big grain. It's very smooth. Um, you can just mix it with whatever drink and you'll be perfectly fine too. Uh, the prices on these are all very good. Again, that link is below if you guys wanna check them out. Uh, make sure to use my code, make sure to let me know what you think about these products. Uh, keep an eye on my protein because they are about to dominate the states. Um, in Europe, by far the most powerful supplement company. Uh, in the United States, they are about to take it by storm. And I'm excited to be a part of this. More than anything, I'm very excited to tell you guys, I'm gonna start lifting weights in a couple weeks. I'm going to be getting back into it. It's going to be my redemption. I'm going to let my actions speak more than my words. However, I do want to document my progress over the next few months. I just started using these a couple months ago, these protein uh, products. So it's going to make it easier so I don't have to eat too much chicken or whatever since my appetite's been kind of down. So uh, it's going to definitely aid me in my way back, you know, getting my protein in, getting my food in. So along with the help of my protein and my effort in the gym, uh, recovering from this injury and getting back into it. I'm excited to see where I'm gonna be at in the next few months, all right? I'm gonna try to document it. I'm gonna tell you guys how things are going on my end. Stay tuned for some more videos. I hope you guys like this. I hope you guys can tell that I'm always gonna be real with you guys. Um, and I hope that you can see my passion in being a part of this family as well. So two best families in the world, you know, Gymshark, the gym clothing industry that's dominating the world. And now the supplements that my protein's taking care of me with. Um, you know, I'm more than fortunate. And uh, I wanna share this journey with you guys. I want to uh, take pride in the families that are supporting me here and uh, you know move forward with that. So excited to see you guys in the next video. Make sure to check these out. Uh, see you guys soon.